What is up, guys? This is Kobe here, and this is pretty fucking damn high anyway, my man. I need to check a little bit before us. Anyway, what, what is up, guys? This is Kobe here, and today we are going through the remains. And by that, I mean we're going to be playing, you know, a lot of my characters that are around the level 120 region, and we're going to be boosting them up to 141. Now, there's going to be two episodes of this of me playing about six different classes you know out of all the two episodes and this is going to be the pirate episode this episode is going to consist of mechanic cannon shooter and angelic buster um so now first off we have mechanic the gear that i'm going to be using in order to boost him up a little bit this guy has some you know tempest decked out and shit and what i plan on doing is getting the full necro set five sets in the boss accessory i do have the badge uh but i can't equip it until 130 and the if he is set um, the earring, the pendant, and the ring. I don't really care for the box accessory pendant. Um, I just, you know, want to go through Ithia because it's easier to Star Force, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. And, you know, whichever ones come with potential, it's nice. Uh, but I do, you know, go through the auction now, see which ones have good flames and whatnot. Like, this has a 20 attack flame. This has a 48 dex flame. This is a 42 dex flame, you know, so on and so forth. Some good stuff like that. Um, but anyway, we're at about 49k range. I'm not really sure what other buffs Mechanic has since I haven't played Mechanic in a long ass time. And I believe that was the EXP one right there. Uh, but the damage is nice. It's passable. Even with all the flame stuff, I'd say this is uh, alright. Um, kind of surprised it's this low, uh, not gonna lie. Although, you know, considering that this skill does hit a lot, it's not too bad. Plus, I also have to take advantage of the summons that Mechanic has. Like, I'll go ahead and um, summon my, uh, the, the bombs right there. And then we'll do the uh, Rock and Shock, I believe that's what they call it in GMS. Um, I can't summon it right there. How the hell does this work? Why can I not use it? Mechanic's already pissing me off. Okay, oh, maybe, okay, it was just too far away. Ugh, that's a pretty bad placement. But, um, that shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna stay here until 130, and then we're gonna be going to Banes until 141. So just, you know, DM, uh, not DMP, uh, but nah, we're just gonna be doing DGP, Dual Ghost Pirates, and then Dogs, and that's it. was there for about seven levels or so and throughout the seven levels I've been playing this class so far I can tell you guys right now that this is a big pop burner this skill right here even with the 14k mana I have it's just draining all the way down it's like ridiculous like I've already I've used 85 potions and I'm pretty sure that was all meant for the mana bar nothing for health I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty this class can tank well, right See guard, 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 475, and like that's not that's not much health anyway. Guard, see, I'm just guarding a lot of hits, and um, I'm telling you, big pop burn. Oh, that was just a waste right there. <laughs> that was just a waste right there. Um, but yeah, it's um, mechanic. Not only do I mob, like, you know, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. Not only do I mob like this, I'll you know use the missile as well. The one concern I have for training on this map as a mechanic is if it can jump over this big leap right here. Oh, okay, it can. Because if you if you guys don't know, going in here means you are in a uh, map with uh, these guys, and I'm guaranteed to fall down here at least ten times every time I train a new character. It's just you know, it always happens now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 
This class isn't too bad. I'm pretty sure it's going to work very well here. And this map is cursed. And no EXP can be gained until the rune is used. Where's the rune at? Because I know in this map, runes can spawn at really weird places. You know, they spawn like the lava at the very bottom left. It's so stupid. But anyway, it's time to level up 10 more times. Um, Get that S card because this is buff duration. I'm a Dark Knight main, so this is some good buff duration right here. And then that will be another tetris piece added to the board because you know uh you get that third piece at 141 mall characters that are level 100 to 139 usually get two well okay it's not 141 141 is for dojo 140 is for the third piece let's not confuse those two uh but yeah it's time to go ahead and get started And that's it for mechanic. Just fucking turn the lights on, you dumbass. Um, basically, you know, it wasn't too hard. Although I did have some pre-made tippers here. It is an epic. Although there's no decks on any of them, so they're just there to be there. I might use them in the future when I get mechanic to 200. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop. I'm glad that the Necro gear, you know, stood out. Um, without Neko gear, Iphia gear, um, boss accessory gear, it stood out pretty well without having, you know, too much of a good potential, you know, to no potential at all. I just went for prime line decks, 3% or 12 decks, it didn't really matter to me. Um, but, you know, with all that, you know, it wasn't too bad. This class definitely stood out, it was a lot stronger than I thought it'd be, although I felt like I was weak at dual ghost pirates, but... Um, it wasn't really too bad as I got in the hang of it, uh, but yeah without further ado That's it for the first class. Let's move on to the next one Next class I have up here is Cannon Master and just like the mech it has roughly the same exact equipment The stat is so much better probably because I'm a strength man and I have a lot of you know strength character cards and whatnot So, you know, it is pretty high up there. No links just like the mech uh, you know, just going through this raw because it's not that many levels to begin with. Um, but this is actually some pretty nice ass range. I believe these are all the buffs that I can get as a cannon shooter, unfortunately. Um, but still, I'm at 2k stat with it. So I'm at 69k range, buffed up, you know, without any extra potions or anything. And I roughly two shot the mobs. I mean, there are times where I probably won't because uh, crit rate RNG, but. It's still really nice. I mean, two shotting here. This is the, the mobbing here is pretty nice. I'm about to level up too. Hell, um, yeah. This is definitely something that I um, <laughs> can't. I actually used to be a cannon shooter main back in the day. And when it came out, I was the first foreigner to reach 120. Um, it took me like four days or so. Just do straight PQs and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, 126. Um. Just go ahead, train here, and I'm probably gonna go to Korean Folk Town when I level up. I'm just gonna be doing the quest, and then after I do the quest, I will go straight to Dogs and just get to 141 there. Man, Korean Folk Town really does not disappoint. I came here with no EXP at 127. Here I am, almost at 131, and with six million in my pocket when I had zero zip, nothing. So it's some pretty nice stuff, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just here to go ahead and purchase a 2x coupon from the Union Shop uh, because I'm going over to Dogs, which I believe are uh, right here. And I'm just going to stay here for the remainder of my time. Although I'm not going to be popping the EXP coupon 
until I see somebody, you know, smegas out like an MVP buff, so I can, you know, double stack those together and OB for some hella fast grinding. And I believe I should clear faster than my mech, although these guys were um, not really clear before. Although it does take a few more hits, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, my mech, you know, my mech kind of walks through these guys, kind of like the way Wild Hunters do. So, I'm not necessarily sure which class will be able to clear faster than the other. Um, but, this character seems to be clearing pretty well. Let me just go ahead and pop a summon. Um, although, this summon isn't really going to do much. But, I should be okay. Um, not really much to worry about, considering my damage. I hit like 350, 400k crits because of level differences and whatnot. Um, it'd be a little higher if I was, you know, a little bit of a higher level. Uh, but this isn't really too bad. Now I'm just going to wait for an MVP buff while I, you know, just mindlessly grind and go ahead and reach level 141. That's a second character down. I believe I have about maybe five more of, you know, remaining links that I have to level up. Not not five, oh geez. Uh, three more, but I'm only going to be doing one more in this current episode. I'm glad I got this done too. So, seems like with the mechanic at 124 and the cannon true to 125, my union level has increased by 33 from the both of them. So, that's really good. My road to 6,000, you know, currently, like I said, you know, I'm going to Grandmaster, don't worry. But, you know, road to 6,000 for now before the summer. Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty nice. Um, but without further ado, it is time to show you guys the last class I'm going to play. So I finally finished with the, um, the stamp. I believe that's what it was. Let me go ahead and right here. Okay, so that's going to be, that's on my bishop as well. I made sure the bishop got the 500 kills. Luckily, it didn't leech a damn single lick of EXP. It somehow did. I got point there. Okay, whatever. Um... But it's not really too bad. I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and take it over to Dual Ghost Pirates and stay there until 1.30. Um, I'm actually glad that I have my own little personal HS meal. Uh, but too bad before 1.40, it actually, you know, has to follow me around. Uh, so I do want to get all the stamps I can get. And that will probably be covered once I start training other classes. Like the Corsair and Windbreaker that I'm going to train before the series is over to 1.41. I'll... Probably just, you know, make sure I get the stamps on the bishop while, you know, I have it walking around and whatnot. So, it's going to be all good. And it's time to get started in here. And for the final character, we have Angelic Buster. So, this is only level 120, so this one might take a little longer than the others. Um, same stats. Well, okay, my, my mechanic probably had a little more. Maybe just pop it. Yeah, my mechanic definitely did have more stats. But here I am with my uh, bishop. And I was actually over here to check and see if I can get the stamp because, you know, um, I'm going to have to have my bishop over here for when I need to go to uh, various places such as do ghost pirates even. So, you know, I'm not going to have a temple rock on it 24-7. So it'd be really nice if I can get a stamp on the bishop. And that does count for the kills, even though um, the leech, you know, is no longer a thing anymore. Um, that's, you know, pretty good. And I have to kill about 500 of the... Uh, Green ones, purple ones don't seem to count. So I'm going to be here for quite a while. Um, I'll let you guys, well, okay, let me go ahead and get HS and bless real quick. Pop this button right here. And I will let you guys know when I finish.
So I hit level 130. Everything is going, you know, very, very well right now. Um, other than missing an MVP buff, that's one right there. Um, let's see if I can make it in time. I have two minutes to make it. This is, you know, easy peasy. I can't use the uh, Ardipo Warp because I've already used it. Um, but seems like it's in channel 12 right now. So basically, I'm just going to be at dogs until level 140. And then I'm going to use my Maple Points to do two more Monster Brock runs. Although I really shouldn't be using my Maple Points. I just, you know, want to get this done ASAP tonight. Uh, so, it's going to be some easy stuff. Plus, I also have a 1.5x coupon from the uh, Pink Bean stuff. Um, I know I, I'm not... I don't want to spend my Union Coins yet. Uh, because I'm saving up for, you know, potential tier ups here in the future. Well, rank ups. Well, the only rank up I have left now is Master 2. Uh, so, that's... You know, I'll get that over with eventually. Um, but I'm just going to save him for now. And, yeah, it's going to be as easy as that. And, you know, because the MVP buff was announced, there's going to be a lot of people here asking for it and whatnot. And, you know, people just come here as fast as they possibly can in order to get it. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trade to 140, and then we'll see how it goes at Monster Park. Okay, okay, this went by stupid fast, as in training at Banes and whatnot, out of the mechanic and out of the cannon shooter, Angelic Buster demolished both of them. Now you see why I made it on GMS, this class is slept on and y'all need to quit. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably because you know it's like all pink and whatnot. Um, People don't really like that color scheme because they want to show off their e pins as uh, much as possible and the pink is a big turn off, especially the new fit job skill with the Korean vocals and whatnot. Oh no, nah, mm -mm. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and run a Monster Park run over here. It is, I'm not really sure which one I should run. Um, I'll probably run this one. I don't want to run Golden Temple because that takes a while. I just want to run something that's in my level range. And it, uh, I hate this one. This one takes a while. Um, but yeah, so as far as the union goes, I'm pretty sure I've said this quite a few times in the series and whatnot. Um, but I'm just finishing up Blink Mules. Well, I'm not finishing up Blink Mules, but I'm just getting a whole bunch of dried up links that have been around for a couple of years, few years even. Um, because I know I've seen some of them that have the whole bunch of Tempest equipment, Tempest coins, coins from whatever the fuck, like, get some weird shit. Um, but, after I finish that, I know the next episode is going to consist of me finally using that goddamn dreaded pink bean potion that I got from a while back. And I'm going to use that on a fire poison. I'm going to get the fire poison from level 1 to 120 with that potion. Unfortunately, I exhausted the burning on the Nightwalker, so there will be uh, no other burning character. Unless there's a season 2. Hmm, maybe I should wait until that happens. Although, you know, Season 2 burning is very, very not likely <laughs> to happen. Uh, so I highly doubt it. Because I know there's going to be like a whole bunch of Season 2 events for the 14th anniversary and whatnot. Which is, you know, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty fucking awesome. Um, but, which means Frozen Link is also um, going to stay around for another month. Because I know that's going to last until June 21st. Which is the last day of Pink Bean. And I'm pretty sure June 21st is that special day that's going to be like, okay, are you guys ready for what's to come in this summer? So, you know, I'm glad they're extending the 14th anniversary events to actually keep us all not dried up for a month. Because um, that would actually be pretty fucking stupid if they did that. Um, but yeah, Fire Poison. Um, Mihao is next. Mihao is going to be in there. And there's, oh, Demon's there. So those three classes will be up next. And then after that, 
you know, once those three are over with, I'm going to be leveling, actually, I don't need to level up a fire put, well, I mean, of course, I'm going to be leveling it up, but I don't need to wait till burning to level it up, that's what I mean, so, fuck burning, if they have a season two, I'll just use it on a Corsair instead, if there is, uh, no season two, I mean, if there is a season two, um, cause Corsair and Wind Archer, those are gonna have two of their own, two episodes of their own, so I'm just gonna get them to 141 for the time being. And then once I get those to 141, I am set, and stoned, and ready to get the Master Union to. Okay, not necessarily ready, cause I do need about, you know, roughly a thousand coins for it. Uh, so it's gonna take a while, which is, you know, kind of a bummer. But yeah, let me go ahead and take this dude out real quick, and that should be it. Oh. I missed one. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely be a Grandmaster too, and then you know, time to put the series on hold until uh, no clue. Just whenever I feel like my Dark Knight is satisfied, strong enough, and ready for the summer. But I know for a fact that I want to start and finish an Absolab set. That's not gonna take you know like a week or two. And plus, I want to get to two to two thirty-five as well, because that's you know another level milestone of mine. Um, I'm going to open this up real quick, and yeah, that's honestly just one I may make for. Just, you know, sort of a little inside of the future of the content as far as that goes, excluding, you know, guides, up, uh, updates in Maple Story, and, you know, all that good stuff and whatnot, showcases or anything. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. That is if you want to. And we'll be bringing back some more great content to you guys later. Peace out, everybody.